What's up everyone? It's Kelly and today I've got another swatch review for you. So today we are talking about a couple new collections from A England. I have the Bram Stoker and the Count collection and then I also have their In Memoriam duo. If you haven't heard of A England before, I went a little bit more in depth about them in my Small Brand Sunday video, but they are an independent nail polish brand and all of their products are 12 free, meaning they are free of 12 of the potentially harmful ingredients that can be found in nail polish. They are vegan, meaning they do not use any animal derived ingredients and they're cruelty free, meaning they do not test their products on animals. So like I said, we've got a couple of collections to go over today. We've got 11 polishes in total. So I'm going to show you the swatches first, then we'll talk a little bit more about my thoughts, pricing, availability, stockists, where you can get them, all that good stuff. So roll the swatch footage. So as with all of my swatch and review videos, I am using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains. Today it's Orly Bonder base coat. So we'll start off with the shade that I'm actually wearing in the intro and outro to this video, which is called Dracula. And it is this gorgeous, really rich, deep pink base. And it is absolutely packed with a linear hollow sparkle. Now, one thing to note about these polishes is that you can see the hollow a lot better once it dries. So I'm showing you what they look like when they're dried and top coat does not affect the hollow. Don't worry, you can apply top coat over these, but this is such a stunning one. The formula was so easy and it was actually one coat coverage on me so I am wearing one coat in the intro and outro. Next up we have Van Helsing and this one is a really deep purple shade that leans a little bit on the warmer side and again absolutely packed with that holographic sparkle and again you can see this was one coat coverage on me. Now I am showing you two coats for all of them but I was really surprised and impressed that a lot of these I could get away with wearing in one coat. Now I do have short nails so that's something to keep in mind but really impressive opacity. I think these would also be great for nail art because I I always like to work with a really opaque polish when I'm doing nail art or stamping, something like that. So another gorgeous shade. Look at that hollow. So pretty. Next up, we have Whitby Abbey, and this one's actually an interesting base color. I'm not 100% sure how to describe it because at first glance, it almost looks like a gunmetal gray, but looking at it a little bit closely, I feel like I can see a little bit of a dusty purpley blue kind of undertone going on in there. And again, lots of linear hollow sparkle, and you can see it a lot better once it dries. And there's something about this A England hollow that for some reason looks like a pastel rainbow and I think it is so gorgeous. It's really unlike any of my other holographic polishes. So absolutely love that. Perfect coverage in two coats. Moving on, we have the shade Mina and this one is a super, super light, almost blue toned lavender base color with that linear hollow sparkle. Now this one being a lighter shade was a little bit more sheer, but I did still get full coverage in two coats and I was really excited to see this one because it looks pretty basic in the bottle, but I know that lighter shades like this have such a gorgeous hollow shine when they're dry. And you can see again, that there's this sort of like pastel-y kind of look to it that makes it look so soft, but also so vibrant at the same time. So this feels like the perfect winter color, but I think it's also going to carry me through the springtime. Next up, we have the shade Transylvania, and this one is a gorgeous medium blue base with that linear hollow sparkle. And this color, color in particular reminds me so much of denim. I love that mix between this rich, slightly deeper, but very saturated blue and the silvery hollow sparkle in there. I don't know. It gives me a little bit of a denim vibe. It's so gorgeous and rich. And when you have that full color on your nails with the rainbow linear hollow going through, it almost reminds me of like a cosmic sky as well. Next up, we have the shade Love Song for a Vampire. This is actually a shade that I wore in a couple of my recent videos and a lot of you noticed and really loved this shade and let me tell you I love it too. It's another blue but this one is a lot more of a yellowy undertone to it. It almost has this like oceanic pool kind of vibe. Again, really great coverage in two coats and that really gorgeous holographic sparkle throughout just looks, I don't know, like a pool in the sunshine. I think it's really pretty. 
Next up, we have the shade The Wild Rose, and this is another one that's pretty difficult to describe. I feel like A. England in general makes so many of these types of shades that are just unlike any color that I have, but they're so deceptively simple. Like, I don't even know how I would describe this. It's almost like a grayish green with a little bit of like a blackened gold to it. I don't know, but either way, it's absolutely stunning, really opaque, and once you see that holographic sparkle in there, it just looks so unique. And then we have the shade Bat Wings, and this one, I have to say, my camera did not do it justice. It looks like a simple black linear hollow, but when you look at it a little bit closer, there's actually a fuchsia shimmer running throughout as well. And for some reason, my camera had a really hard time picking that up. I feel like you can see it very slightly, but in person, it's a lot more pronounced. It looks really gorgeous, especially paired with that linear hollow sparkle. And again, it just takes a simple shade and makes it a little bit more elevated. Next up we have the Wizard Hollow Top Coat, and I actually believe this was a standalone release, but it was released at the same time as the Vampire Collection, so I wanted to share this as well. And this one is basically a silver, irregular, flaky hollow topper. So you can see there's a lot of nice variety in these tiny little shards on the nail. That's what it looked like over the naked nail, but I'll also show you what it looks like over black, so you can see a lot of that holographic sparkle coming through. And by the way, I am doing a video this week on comparing all of my hollow top coats. So stick around for that if you're curious how this compares with some other brands. But I also wanted to really quickly show you what it looked like over another color. So I paired it over Dracula and I thought it was just a really interesting holographic glitter bomb kind of vibe wearing a hollow polish with a hollow topper. I don't know. I just thought it was a lot of fun. So those were the polishes from the Brand Stoker and the Count collection, but we also have a duo called In Memoriam, and this first shade is called Elizabeth, and it's a really beautiful, medium, very cool toned purple, again with that linear hollow sparkle running throughout. Very opaque, almost there in the first coat, but I did do a second for full coverage, and again it has that really soft but very saturated pastel linear hollow sparkle. So another absolutely gorgeous shade. You know I love purple, so I love this one. And last but not least, we have the shade Forget Me Not, and this one actually looks very similar in the bottle to Mina. So I am going to do a comparison in a minute just so you can see what they look like next to each other. But this one I would describe as more of a periwinkle. It definitely has a little bit more of a blue tone to it, and it also has a slight grayness to it. So very similar shade, but again, really gorgeous, a nice bluey tone, and again with that rainbow holographic linear hollow running throughout. Looks absolutely stunning in two coats. So here are all of the polishes that I just reviewed together, and I wanted to put them in more of a rainbow order rather than go by collection, because like I said, Mina and Forget Me Not are pretty similar, but side by side you can see the very subtle difference in that base color, where Forget Me Not is a little bit more blue toned and Mina is a little bit more purple toned. And then we also have a very slight similarity with Whitby Abbey and Elizabeth. They're both in the purple tone, but I would say Whitby Abbey is a lot more of a deep gray silver kind of color and Elizabeth is a little bit more saturated. So overall, this is like my ideal color story. I love pinks and purples and blues and grays. So I was very excited about all of these. I also love the formulas. I love how opaque they are and I love that linear hollow that they use. Like I said, it just feels different from any other brand that I have. So those are the collections and I have to say I just love these. Is there's something about A England that I feel like is a little bit different from the usual holographic polish. I don't know why, but there's something about the color of the hollow that feels both softer and more intense than the average brand. Like they almost have a little bit of like a pastel look to them, but they're still very intensely holographic, even in colors where you wouldn't expect to see it as much. So I really appreciate that. And I absolutely love the formula. A lot of these were actually one coaters on me. Now I do have short nails, but still these were super opaque. I think they would also be really great for stamping, but it's just very nice to have 
a high quality brand that's very opaque, especially when you're in a rush. So that is definitely appreciated as well. So all of these polishes come in the regular A England bottle, which is 11 milliliters. And they also come with a wide flat brush that has a rounded tip. So application is very easy, especially for beginners. Pricing on these do vary based on where you get them. You can get them direct from the A England website and they ship to the UK, but they also have a lot of international stockists. I know the majority of my audience is in the US and in the US they are stocked by Butometry, Color for Nails, and What's Up Nails. So I'll link those down in the description. You can check them out if you're interested. And then I'll also link the other stockists in the description for those of you in other countries as well. But yeah, overall, absolutely love these. Absolutely loving the brand. But I would love to know what you think. What do you think of these collections? Which color is your favorite? Are you planning on picking any up or have you already? Let me know in the comments. We can chat about it. If you enjoy my swatch and review videos, please give this one a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. And of course, a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon, my Royal Astronomer, Amanda M, as well as my Cosmic Admirals, Rocket Man's daughter, Paula, Ken, and Rosie. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Today's fun fact is actually going to be me asking you guys for recommendations because my fun fact is that I didn't have any incredible reads this year. I feel like I've read a lot of books. I think I actually read over 70 books in 2022 and I didn't like fully love any of them. There were some that I enjoyed, but there wasn't any that just blew me away. So I'm going to use this fun fact as an opportunity to ask you guys for recommendations. So if anybody read any really good books in 2022, or honestly, any time that you highly recommend, please let me know in the comments below because I feel like I'm in need of a really good book. I've been in like this little bit of a reading slump and it's not because I haven't been reading. It's just because I haven't totally loved anything that I'm reading. So I need a little bit of help. If you've gotten to this point in the video, please give me a recommendation in the comments and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.